This is really the end of a journey, but a new one will be starting, and that's the one we've wanted to partake in, which is basically to make America great again. And now we'll have a chance to do it after today. Hopefully, everything will work out well. We're way leading. All we have to do is close it out. We have to close it out. If we get our vote, there's nothing they can do. This is one of those deals. If we get our vote, we're leading every swing state, which is unheard of for the Republican Party. They're always, they always, they're always up at the end. They always were good finishes or bad finishes, depending. Sometimes they'd get there, some, but you'd always go in by losing hundreds of thousands of votes, and, and you'd watch it like a racehorse, and sometimes they'd get there, and sometimes they wouldn't. But with North Carolina, I always got there because we won every race, every So essentially, you know, they have an expression. I hate the expression, actually, but it's ours to lose. Does that make sense to you? It's ours to lose. If we, if we get everybody out and vote, there's not a thing they can do. And if we don't, and if we don't, they have to get every person that ever signed anything in that horrendously dangerous party that's going to destroy our country. And it already is destroying our country. We just can't let that happen. We cannot let that happen. So here's my only purpose in even being here today. Get out and vote. You know that. I'm thrilled to be back in this beautiful state with thousands of proud, hardworking American patriots. That's what you are. You're patriots. You built this country. You built this country. But I'd like to begin by asking a very simple question. Are you better off now than you were four years ago? And I've asked that question so many times that I've never had one hand go up for the other.